What's up, it's your boy Fizz, bringing the news like I do, and yes, <clears throat> um, Homefront has come out with two map packs, one, or one map pack, one map pack, and it has uh, the box, which is like a busted up Walmart, but they put Tiger Direct on it, you can see it right here, it's pretty... I, this map is awesome. You know what? I went back and played it today, and it, you know what? The map pack is really cheap too. Only two hundred forty dollars or two hundred forty points. <laughs> no, two hundred forty dollars would buy that. But um, what's even better is is they give the map packs to the to the demo people. So this is in your dashboard demo right now. The two map packs, but one is played in team deathmatch. One is in ground control. I wish they would like quarantine off certain parts on the other one and spill it spillway but uh, I'm gonna show you some gameplay on on the box they call it the box I'm gonna call it the I call it Walmart so I'll show you some awesome gameplay I'm probably gonna like put it in for top top five plays for NASA uh, his new he's throwing a new series at NASA top five uh, home front plays at yahoo.com or you can catch him on Twitter top five plays on home front for NASA it's pretty cool so these this map is like the grocery store a lot of corners great uh, you know Vizio box or whatever and so it's, pre it's pretty awesome so here we go we're going on to spillway and now you can only play this map um, you can only play this map and uh, ground control which you know I'm just showing you the depth of the map if you look this is like probably this this is probably how this map runs a B and C run right down the middle and then you got both sides, you know, starting on opposite sides of the dam. And you just look how far back this thing goes. I mean, the fighting scale is amazing. All on dedicated servers. I mean, and it's for free. I don't see, um, if you guys are looking for a game, at least you can play it for free. I can tell you that. You can go to the demo right now, your dashboard, Xbox Live dashboard, download these two maps for free you get to play the demo maps for free even if you wanted to try out the demo maps and you didn't want to pay the 240 but you had the home front game you could go play them for free and be like yo I'm gonna play the demo and just play the demo maps you know and, and I don't even have to buy maps but but seriously I bought the maps because I wanted to show them to you guys and I played um, uh, the box which is pretty cool so pretty much you get the gist of it and oh yeah so anyways I wanted to show you a little bit more just want to show you the the, the dam that was pretty cool anyways it's called the spillway you got a B and C right down the middle it's a pretty cool map I mean I had fun playing it uh, this morning and I want I just wanted to show you I downloaded it which is like 240 points that's less than a like a SD movie that you would watch and you get tons and tons of hours of gameplay and I think people are missing the boat on this. I think this is one of the premier first-person shooters. And you guys um, should definitely, if you're a true first-person shooter guy, you would definitely download this game and play it. Now, here you'll see that um, I am playing in the box. This is a real gameplay, Team Deathmatch. Now, this map only comes on Team Deathmatch. And the other one only comes on Ground Control. So, and then the, the variants of those two as well. So here I am running around with the Diablo. I'm checking my mini-map. Nah, you gotta get used to the mini map. Look at this awesome gameplay that I should put up for NASA. Oh, you, why'd you try to sneak up on me? You can't do it! Just running this game. Just look at that. Just running and gunning. If you don't know, running and gunning. That's what's gonna be happening on Modern Warfare 3. If you don't know, there's not gonna be any more stackable streaks on. Uh, oh, I should have got that guy too. No stackable streaks. Running and gunning. It's a straight up Call of Duty 4 Part 2. Look at this guy. Throw a grenade. We, we pretty much pin him up in a corner, and I'm a, I'm a loop back around because I already um see before I played the game I I went into a private match and ran around the map a couple times figured it out pretty much I I already downloaded the game we got one knifey uh 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 two knifey knifey uh 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 three knifey knifey that's going on top plays for NASA three knives three piece on the new map box who else can do it I don't even think you're gonna see a video of a three piece knife camp and knife get out of here I was just so excited I was like they had to be spawning on top of me they had to be so I was like alright let me catch him down here got the Diablo switch over to the pistol let me go ahead and pick up a backup now that's a horrible sight on the AK-47 I would never do that sight I don't even know why you would put like a dim sight uh, a dark shade sight on your gun because it's kinda like useless in this game 
So anyways, I come down here. Now I had all the air conditioners running, so I really couldn't hear the footsteps, and I didn't know if I had footsteps off. But you can see I'm probably not set up correctly for this map because most of it's inside, and you don't want to run like uh, Hellfire because what are you going to hit? I can't even hit anybody. And the thing about this game, you don't get splash damage. I mean, there could be like a leaf in the way, and it'll stop the rocket from hitting. That's one of the bad things, but, you know, like right there, that should have been a kill. But that's just some of the things you have to deal with. I'd rather take it a more gun-on-gun -gun you're done in this game than um, stacking streaks and all that other bullshit. You're not going to see too many streaks unless, you know, you got two shitty teams playing against each other. And that's just the way sometimes the game works out. Because people, frankly, don't play this game that much, you know, because, I don't know, they're uh, Call of Duty brainwash. Here I loop back around. I know the guy expected me to come back down that tunnel, but you always want to do the unexpected. Especially any shooting game, loop back around. Always take the highest position in any in any shooting game. Look at that. I seen him over there, and I was like, let me go ahead and throw this grenade. And I thought I would get the bounce on the grenade, even the splash damage. I had him pinned, but I shouldn't have moved, but they started shooting at me. And I want to loop back around, and I, I saw, it was weird. I saw his shadow on the ladder, but it was the ladder behind me, which is crazy. Oh, look at they just trying to take me out, trying to loop the loop on me. I'm the master of the loop de loop. Let me come back around. Woo! You know how Fist does it. You can't stop the champ. Ding ding. King of the South. I love how people get people get all frustrated when you say, I'm the king of YouTube. You know what I mean? That's just a title. I I, I just I laugh at people who get mad at shit like that. Don't you realize that you know, like some rappers say, King of the South, Prince of the South. It's just a title that, you know, it, you know. look at how I get shot like that. I shouldn't have got shot by a pistol. I was pretty pissed right there. But you know what I'm saying. You know, those are just titles, and people shouldn't read into them. You know, that's just, that's just you know, to create interest. And for all I know, people could just be saying things just to create interest on themselves. It's all good. It's YouTube. It's entertainment. People shouldn't take serious. It's gaming on top of that, and it should be fun. Uh, all... All things matter. It should be fun. I mean, unless it's completely ridiculously a bad game and everybody's playing it, that's that's just ridiculous. You know, I mean, obviously uh, there's something wrong with it. See, you know, and I hesitated right there. I thought that was my teammate. And now, if I had the mini map on the left hand corner, boom, I probably would have killed him. But you know, I'm so rusty. This is my first time playing, and I spawned right into that bitch again. I was really pissed right this at this point. I was on swearing, doing all kinds of crazy. I could have. I was stuttering. Mad! Mad, I say! So then I was like, alright. See all this advertising, Tiger Direct, Nas, blah, 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 blah. You're going to see more of that stuff in the future in video games. But that's the way it is. I think this is a great map. I think that everything that Homefront does, I don't know whether uh, they, they hack into Chaos's computers or they got somebody over there telling their information. But most of everything that you see in these Chaos games you always see in the future this is like modern warfare future games they take all the ideas from these games and make it better and that's just life in general I noticed that as well on YouTube you got bigger YouTube commentators they take people's titles and they use them you know in life people that are bigger than you take what you're doing your success your beats your music and make it theirs and they give you no credit so I mean that's just that's just the way it works and uh, I'm flattered to play uh, the future modern warfare game in Homefront. I think it's a, I think it's beyond its time. And I think when Halo 4 comes out, they're gonna have dedicated servers and with the new Xbox. So when the new Xbox comes out with Halo 4, I mean, really after Halo 4 comes out with dedicated servers, that's pretty much gonna set the standard for uh, every single game in the industry. And I think Activision's gonna be the last one to do it, but. That's just the way it is, and it's going to take something like Halo 4 to change Activision, you know. It's always like that. Like, you're not going to listen to somebody that's not more successful than you, and that's just the way it works, and that's probably what's going to happen. Here, I called in the strike, and I got knifed in my back. Now, I had the air conditioner running, so I probably didn't hear the footsteps, or I wouldn't hit the ground, called it in, and lose my kill streaks. And that's what's cool about this. You get killed while you're in your kill streak, you lose it. That's innovative. You don't see that type of shit, man. You shouldn't be rewarded for dying. And they don't reward you in this game for dying. Second chance, last stand, uh, three times grenade, all that bullshit. Whatever. They don't reward you for that. Innovation. Always comes from the smaller guy. Look at this. Drop shot, game over. Get off me. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. Take the time to go at least play the demo. And if you got the game, pay for it. It's only 240 
your boy Fist, doing it like I do, keeping you on, keeping you on what's going on news. I'll be doing Battlefield Modern Warfare 3 news coming up today. Mad videos. Till next time, it's your boy Fist. Peace.